This is a cinnamon roll with maple frosting and cinnamon on the inside. I don't bake for my days off. Not that I've ever had a day off before today, but I'm not bringing stuff into my house, so I got this from our local bakery. Um, it's Byler's, and the baker is just the very, very best. So we miss her, but we're glad to be on keto, and I'm super excited for this day off. So here I am, two bites in, and I haven't had any sugar in over a year, almost a year and a half, and holy sweet. Um, it's incredible and it's super good, but I was not expecting it to hurt the back of my jaw. Like, the sweet is just intense and great and I may end up regretting this day, but it will be totally worth it for the science. Happy Saturday morning! It's Cinco de Mayo and it's Saturday and today is my day off. I'm taking a day off of keto. i um, going to have all the carbs and all the sugar and all the things I haven't been having. So that is very exciting and a little scary. So we'll keep you informed as to what I eat and how I feel. Um, I already took a run and that was okay. It definitely felt different um, than normal, but it was good. And I wasn't as fast as normal, but I also have taken a week off because I stepped out of tech. So I didn't run at all this week while my foot was healing up. Um, so that could have been it too. I always, the first run back after a couple days off is always my, a little slower than it was before. So we'll just keep that in mind. Um, but today I'm going to keep you informed of all the unketo things I'm going to eat and how I'm feeling. I had a cinnamon roll this morning. It was good. Lovely. Um, and it made my stomach hurt a little bit. Not going to lie. Um, but you know, a day off is a day off, and you take the good with the bad, and all oh, the sugar was great. So, that's what I got. And right now I'm going to eat this cake. I went to a bake sale. There was also a fundraiser from one of our local churches, and this cake was what I decided on instead of all the cookies and brownies and things that looked delicious. I decided that just this cake would be what I would eat, and I'm super happy about it because this morning... I got a donut and a cinnamon roll from the bakery, and I could not eat them both. I could only eat the cinnamon roll, and I barely finished it. So I'm glad I didn't buy a whole box of cookies, and then, or a whole tray of cookies, and then had to throw them away or find someone to give them to. Um, so I'm going to try this cake. It is nutmeg feather cake, which I have never had, and boiled coconut frosting. So boiled coconut frosting is like the frosting on um, German chocolate cake, which is my very, very favorite. So... So, after the first bite, I can tell you exactly what this is. This is spice cake with coconut frosting. The, and it is exactly the kind of coconut frosting that is on German chocolate cake. It is delicious. I would have never thought to put these two things together. Um, there's no way to make this keto, I don't imagine. But I feel like you could put these same um, flavors into coffee and that would be incredible. But then again, if it's sweet and good, I always want to recreate that as a coffee. So, maybe that's just me. But, sweet. I was entirely unsuccessful in vlogging my food for the rest of my day off. I did, however, take some pictures and find some pictures on the internet to show you what I ate. Steve and I went out to lunch at our favorite local restaurant and I had this tomato bisque and it was delicious. I also had a buffalo chip pileup, which is... Imagine nachos made on fried potatoes. It's delicious, and it's all cheese and bacon and chives, and it's one of my favorite things to eat there, and I was so glad to have it on my cheat day. We spent the afternoon with some friends, and our friend made some curry, and she makes it keto for us, which I really appreciate. So I had these snacks. I had a donut and potato chips. And then when I got home, I had these Swedish berries. They're like Swedish fish, but you get them from Canada and they're squishier and better. I would count my cheat day as a success. I did record everything that I ate like I normally would. And after 489 days of keto, I was glad I took a day off. I ate about double my normal daily calories which isn't overly excessive for a cheat day, I didn't think. I was shocked at the end of the day to find out I'd eaten 17 days worth of carbs. So that's 344 carbs. 
Honestly, I'm impressed that I got that many in. By the end of the day, my stomach was sore and I was ready to be done and go back to keto. There was no question in my mind that the next morning I would be having a Bulletproof just like normal. So the day after the day off is Sunday and I'm going for a run. I didn't feel too bad this morning, but when I woke up, I said, you know what's going to make me feel better? A run. And so that's what I'm going to do. The only thing I could think when I was waking up is that my head hurt and my body was saying, you should run because if the fire burns hot enough, it can burn anything. That's what my coach used to say when I was a kid. And I don't know what that means exactly, but it means that you should run to get rid of all that sugar in your body. So this is my beautiful run and I'm super excited. Let's see, gorgeous two miles. And it's spring. We appear to have just skipped spring and gone straight to summer because it's almost 75 degrees and so it's nice and hot for my run today. But it's gorgeous and I'm excited to get out there and get all the sugar and carbs out of my blood and my muscles and we'll see how it goes.